one of my viewers sent me a link to a Reddit page with regards to Canada and asked me if I can make a video on the subject. It's a story that seems to be making headlines in Canada at the moment and you'll probably see from the title of this video what it is. Uh, but it's here. They're telling me that there's international students in Canada who are making YouTube videos on how to basically abuse food banks to we can call it steal from food banks. Now, being that I make YouTube videos about Canada, I thought this was a subject that kind of overlapped there and I should definitely put some uh, focus on it, shine some light, make a video about it, learn about it and also get some feedback from people in Canada to find out what you actually think about this. When they sent me this link to this Reddit page, I was absolutely shocked, horrified, uh, obviously, if you know about, don't know about food banks, food banks are places where people who are unemployed have families but have very low income, places where they can go and get some food to keep themselves alive, basically. It's like a last resort where people who can't afford to feed their family, feed themselves, go and they're given food. It's a great service. Obviously, in an ideal world, we wouldn't have any food banks. Everybody would be prosperous and happy and have the money to afford the food they, can, they want. But that's not the world we live in. It's not just Canada. In the UK, we have similar. We have a growing number of food banks, especially over the last couple of years with the cost of living increase, the rise in inflation, uh, even before then. Just people living in ba like relative poverty that have to use food banks, unfortunately. It's a sad thing that people need to use them, as I mentioned, but it's good that they have this option. But hearing that international students are coming to another country and using them in the first place is bad enough, but actually making videos about it called things like this, how to get free food in Canada, as if it's almost like a life hack. These are international students. These are people who are paying a lot more on fees, who obviously, and I'm going to, caveat it by saying not always that they come from wealth but they have the money to go to another country they should at least be able to in my opinion feed themselves some basic basic food so the link here it links to a, a, an article in the national post how to get free food in canada youtubers criticized for encouraging international students to use food banks free to access, food banks rely on donations and are often utilised by those on disability or individuals who are unemployed or underemployed. So this one here as well is important because food banks rely on donations. This isn't like food that just comes from the factories and stuff. This is actually, in this instance, Canadian people who themselves may not have a lot of disposable income are out the goodness of their own heart donating food, donating different things uh, like shampoo, all these sort of things to food banks that people can get. And I, I'm already getting a bit really over, over annoyed about this when I, I uh, heard about it. But yeah, so it's a growing genre of videos on YouTube and TikTok is angering some Canadians who say international students are being encouraged to abuse food banks in order to get free groceries. So I didn't know how this manifested itself because I've not actually... I never heard about this before the person sent this link to me. I came across this link on Twitter, also, or this, this tweet, who also came across a tweet on food bank abuse in Canada, and it's got some screenshots or some thumbnails from videos, and this was what over the top angered me, man. Got titles here like free grocery, mat mattress and blanket, not just groceries, we're also talking about things for your house, it's like for international students. This is not for international students primarily, okay? How to get free food in Canada for international students. Food hamper. People are making these videos almost like unboxing videos. Look at this video, the, the glee, the happiness in his face. Holding all these ingredients, these are like these look like good, good ingredients as well, man. It's not just some basic... Uh, food, food, food products from shops and things. This is good stuff. I've got here how to get free food in Canada. I've got some honey nut Cheerios. Some look at the, the amount of food boxes of food here. Here we've got it in which I think is Hindu. So people are actually making this in their own language. So 
This is directed of co by the looks of it at people in their home countries. It's like, look what we got. This is only encouraging people to come and do the same, to have that same attitude, have those sa that same mentality. Save money on your grocery in Canada. How to get free, free in capital letters. How to get in free food in Canada, international students. So this is a this is a thing. This is what people make videos. I never actually noticed this one. Food Bank reports 95% of users not born in Canada. That's that's a huge number. I don't grudge people of any nationality, no matter. Come to the UK if you're from another country and you've lived there for however long and you're finding it hard to get a job, although you should probably have a job set up, in my opinion. As someone who has moved to different countries, I've moved to China, Thailand, Malaysia. I couldn't move to those countries unless I had proof of income, proof of money, how much I had in my bank, so many hoops to jump through. I had to add, have money to move to those countries. So the fact that so many people use these that are not from Canada, that's that shocked me already. So I actually, in YouTube, I like, search free food for international students in Canada. It's an endless amount of videos. It's really, really, really shocked me, honestly. Uh, if we go back to this Reddit, uh, there's a few other things. So yeah, you can tell me if you're from Canada, what do you think about this? Did it? Sh did you know about this previously? Does it shock you? Do you have any empathy for the people using this or not? From uh, If we go back to these videos, the thing that annoys me specifically is that they're actually making content out of this. They're actually get, make, get, they're making money from these videos that they could use for food. Not only that is... Generally, when people are having to resort to using food banks, they're more humble. They don't want to shout about it or we're using food banks. They know that they're in a bad position. They're just trying to feed their family. They take their food back and they, that's what they do. They feed their family. But these people are really showing off like, oh, look what we got. As if it really is free groceries. As if they're entitled. It's the entitlement, I think. Now, uh, so yeah, I got some... The original... There was an, a video here I tried to get, but it's been moved to private here. Uh, the other link, yeah, this one, so someone posted this, it, there's actually, to get a study permit and become an international student, there's actually, you have to show proof of financial support, so we've got things here, like you have to have a Canadian bank account, you can actually get a student loan, so people, these students could actually take a loan in the that's why they can afford to pay themselves, uh, to feed themselves, they have to show bank statements for the past four months, Blah, blah, blah. They have to have all these criteria that they have to meet with regards to the amount of money they should have. But for some reason, they're still using these food banks. And as I said, it's not just the fact they're using it. The fact they're actually making these videos, they're actually trying to encourage this behavior. Of course, these videos like 14,000, 32,000, 12,000. So a total of about 60,000 views. There 60,000 people have watched these videos. Of course, some people are going to be like, okay, what country should I move to to study? We can go to Canada and we can get free food there. It's not how things should be. It shocked me. It, as you can tell in my voice, it annoyed me to see that people are taking advantage of these kind Canadians who are donating. And I'm sure it's not just Canadians in Canada. I'm sure there's a lot of immigrants who are donating to these food banks as well, but they don't expect it, th expect it to be abused like this. So, yeah, I just want to know your thoughts on it. Uh, tell me what you think about it. Tell me what uh, you knew about this beforehand, if you knew anything. If you didn't know about it, tell me what you think about it. But yeah, I just wanted to make a video just to draw attention to it and just give a few of my opinions of it. So yeah, thanks for watching.